85 and 86 rated squads set up. Mateus Cunha's showdown card. Four-star, four-star, high-medium, right-footed, six. Foot, 90 pace and dribbling with 87 shooting. 82 passing and 81 physical. A very expensive card if he gets a plus two. 92 pace and dribbling, 89 shooting, 84 passing and 83 physical. Also, the positions are really good on him too. Left mid, cam and centre forward. And then the traits are only really good for the outside foot shot. Of course, coming in with Morgan Gibbs-White, which we will look at in a second as they're going to be reviewed in the same video. Let's take a look at the in-games for Mateus Cunha. He's got a really good card. 87 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. 88 attack position with 89 finishing and 88 shot power. Also bolstering that 87 long shots, which is okay. 84 passing, or vision, I should say. Mix of 82 crossing, 85 short pass, 73 long pass, and 84 curve. 91 agility and 82 balance, 88 reactions, 90 ball control, and 91 dribbling with 88 composure. 81 jumping and 82 head and accuracy, 90 stamina, 80 strength, and 74 aggression. Make this card actually look really good. For me, chemistry style on him, guys, is probably going to be a hawk. Now, some of you might say mm, the dribbling needs a little bit of an upgrade because his balance is a little bit low. I don't think so. The way this card looks, I think boosting up that physical up to 84 strength and getting that big aggression upgrade up to 82, as well as 89 jumping, makes a lot of sense. And then plus four to the pace up to 94 pace. With a boost to attack positioning, finishing, shot power and long shots, he's up to 95 long shots and 96 shot power with 93 finishing and 92 Attack positioning makes him look really good, guys. We'll be playing him in the 4 1 2 1 2 narrow at striker alongside Antonio with Morgan Gibbs White in behind. And then, guys, for Morgan Gibbs White, 86, 85, and 83 rated squads for this card. I know why EA have made him expensive because he's four star, four star, because he's got 88 pace and 89 dribbling, 83 shooting, 86 passing, and 80 physical, as well as that 75 defending, which really isn't bad for a cam. His alternates are right mid, cam, and striker. And in terms of traits, he's only got the flare trait, which is a little bit disappointing. But as we go into the in-games, he's got a really, really nice card, to be fair, with good pace, good shooting in the right areas, good passing as well in the right areas, crazy good dribbling, to be fair to him, okay defensive stats, okay physical, and okay aggression. If you're going to use him as a box-to-box, -box, you need to boost up that strength and aggression, so I'd go for an anchor. But in my case, with us playing him at the cam roll, I think something like a Hunter would be really good. I think a Deadeye would also be really good. Uh, but for me personally, I think the Hunter is going to be what I'm going to apply to him for the cam roll. And that is going to make him look really nice as that cam kind of player. With that high dribbling he's already got, the Hunter is brilliant. Plus 8 to the pace out, up to 96 base pace now. 89 attack position and 90 finishing, 92 shot power as well, guys. I'm excited to use both of these cards. They're a bit expensive. Of course, if Gibbs White gets the, the double upgrade as well, you're looking at 90 pace and 91 dribbling. 85 shooting, 88 passing, 77 defending, and 82 physical. Kind of depends on where you play him, to what camera style you want to put on him. As I said, we're playing him at cam, but you could certainly play him as a box-to-box -box and apply an anchor or a shallow to him to boost up their defensive stats. This is the team we are playing him in. Let's get into a few games and see how they get on. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. It's just not what I mean that. Antonio's won it back. There goes Gibbs White as well. Gibbs White's in. Gibbs White! Oh, I've readed it, but it doesn't matter. What a finish that is. Nice. Gibbs White can find that. Yes, he can. It's a lovely through ball. And in comes big... I can't say, I can't say what I was going to say there. Nice, good play as well. Gibbs White. Finds that, is he onside? Antonio, good save that time. Good save, but a good effort as well. Certainly, fit, certainly feel that in game. But you certainly, oh my God. Gibbs White, that's brilliant from Gibbs White there. And it's 3-1 and it's all made from Gibbs White, to be fair to him. Wow, Gibbs White into Cunha. What a finish from Cunha that is. Wow. Nice from Gibbs White. And that's why I think he's going to be quite good at cam for. As we get him with Acuna here. Or not Acuna, sorry. Mateus Cunha. Has it gone in? Oh, what a finish that is. Yeah, Gibbs White is going to be really good from that cam roll. Because he's got decent defending. He's going to actually help out a lot defensively. Which I think is going to be quite underrated, guys. 
All right, guys, so you're going to see some highlights from Mateus Cunha and Morgan Gibbs White on new gen. Now we're on old gen with them, and I am recording as well for Mikel Antonio on old gen. So if you do hear me talk about him, that will be the reason why. And make sure if you want to go check out that review, that will be on the channel as well. And there's something I forgot to mention about the showdown cards is they get a plus one week for, for whoever wins, I believe. They get a draw. I believe they're both going up to a five-star weak foot. So I think a draw might be the best thing here, you know. Um, but yeah, there you go. And I actually really do like this, Cunha. I think he's really... And I, I've got to say, Gibbs White was really impressive. As you can see. What a goal. What a goal that is. Like, what on earth have I just seen from Gibbs? Like, he plays way above his stats. What a goal, man. I was not expecting that to go. I mean, I know I greened it and stuff, but what a goal to get that is. And really impressed with this Gibbs White, as you can see there. What is that ball? Into Mikhail. Oh, unlucky. Oh, my God. I can't believe... Is he offside? No, he's not. Okay, here's Antonio. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, unlucky. Sabitz has got it. It's going into Antonio. Antonio gets down. No, bad pass into the box there. It's back into Antonio. Though. Good bit of left stick dribbling. I have readed it. That's unlucky as well there, guys, really. If I didn't read that, that might go. This guy's not a bad player, though. I mean, he's getting dominated early doors, but he's got a really good team. So I don't want to... don't want to be giving him too much. Especially if he's... Jesus. <laughs> what a pass. Well, he passed. Maybe he's not that good a player, then I don't know. Win that, please, Gibbs White. Now, see, he, the, the thing that I really like about him, and I mentioned it in the uh, highlights as well, is he's got quite good defending. His body type is quite big as well, which means he can play that camera really nicely um, in terms of, like, defending from the cam spot, which I think actually adds a bit of value to him that I kind of wasn't expecting. And you can see that he's got banging shooting, though. Can Mikhail find that? No, bad pass again. Bad pass again there from Mikhail. Yeah, this guy's decent, though. This guy is decent. We go with Pedri. Pedri into the birthday boy. Here he goes. Mikhail Antonio, can he score that from there? No, not enough on it. Not enough on it. I did try and green that one, too. I certainly think, guys, that Mikhail Antonio is definitely a card that you'll enjoy more on new gen so far. Um, which doesn't really say a lot, does it? But nice, good defending there. Into Gibbs White, into Pedri, into Mikhail. Gibbs White again. Great pass into Cunha. Oh, that's just not where I've aimed it, though. I did aim that into Antonio, even though it did go to Cunha. I did think it was a good pass regardless, but um, unlucky there, really. Nice from Shaw. It's a bit uh, into Gibbs White. It's a lovely pass. Here goes Antonio. Antonio doesn't miss that. What a finish that is from Antonio. Let's get into another game. All right, guys. So the final live game with the showdown cards. Man, I've been impressed. I've been impressed. More so with Gibbs White than I have been with Cunha. But they've both been really, really good. So let us see what this game has to offer. This guy's got Darwin Nunez. I think that's the five-star weak foot version. So let's see what we're up against here. What kind of player we are up against. And see what Gibbs White and Cunha can do in this one. Once again, I am still recording for Antonio. Highlights wise, so if we do score any goals with him, I will be talking about Antonio very briefly um, as we've already done a live game with him and we've done that on new gen. This guy seems like a decent player as well. There's Emerson Royale, nice. Into Gibbs White. Oh, Gibbs White again. Into Cunha. No, see, Cunha just. What on earth is happening? What is that? What on earth? Oh, nice tackle. Antonio with a really nice pass there. Into Gibbs White, into Cunha. Cunha! Oh, unlucky there. Here's a Cunha. Oh, that's, that's confusing, isn't it? Cunha and Mateus Cunha. Nice. Cunha again. Good drag back. Not a bad sprint boost either there. Goes back into Pedri. Into Gibbs White. Oh, unlucky. We're dominating this guy. Early doors here. Very unlucky not to score there. There's Gibbs White's defensive actions there, though. You just saw that. Into Antonio. He's got to score that. Antonio has. I don't think I need to be greening that for that to go in. I feel like that just has to go anyway. 
Is he leaving? He is as well. All right, guys, he's not actually leaving, which is nice. And yeah, let's see what we can do with these two cards some more. There goes Gibbs White. Oh, Cunha just like... He actually feels quite good, but his sprint boost is a little bit underwhelming just because he's got that bigger body type. I don't think he's a bad card, though. Got to be scoring that, man. Got to be scoring that. That's very disappointing. He's finding out on Ashley Cole's weak peg. Are you sure? Are you sure, eh? Wow. Okay, fair enough. Here goes Pedri. Pedri into Sabitza. Into Mateus Cunha. Good sprint boost there. And we should be able to just drive into spaces here with him. So he's got some decent strength and he certainly doesn't feel weak. Retains the ball there really nicely as well. It's Gibbs White. Who I actually think feels really goddamn good. Yeah, nice. No, that's a, that's meant to be a scoop turn. Uh, obviously, I know he hasn't got the five-star skills. I wish he did have. I think that would make that card a lot better. Well done, Shaw. Into Pedri again here. It's nice for Pedri. It's a good play, this. Gibbs White. Oh, Oh, Antonio, a nice little pass there too. Cunha! Oh, his finishing's a bit lackluster. Here goes Gibbs White again. I'm telling you guys, what a finish from Antonio as well. I'm telling you guys, this Gibbs White is insanely good. Like, he, he just feels different. He tackles, he's aggressive. Even though he doesn't have that kind of aggressive... Oh, Antonio. Oh, good save. Um, You know, he doesn't really have that aggressive kind of... Like actual aggression. There's something about this card, man. Like, look at his dribbling. I mean, yeah, man. That card's brilliant. I f I have a feeling that this Morgan Gibbs White might be one of the weird weird cards on the game that plays way above what his card stat says. Because I am we're like nine and zero right now. I think guys in champs playoffs are playing at a high high elo, and he is just absolutely bossing it. Absolutely bossing it. Antonio again here. Good shot cancel. Antonio, no. All right, guys. So, showdown Mateus Cunha and showdown Morgan Gibbs White. Cunha is very good as a second striker, not as that kind of lone striker. You can't play him like that. Even though he's got good physical and you could feel that in game, I wouldn't be playing him as a kind of one striker hold up player, like a 4 2 3 1, for example. I think you'd have to play him out wide if you were going to play. In a 4 2 3 1. But in a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, with him as second striker, his passing's really decent. His shooting is okay. His shooting wasn't the best, but it was okay. Dribbling, even though he's got that low balance, was insane. Really like his dribbling mixed with that insane physical stats for a player of this caliber, making him actually really fun to play with. And of course, if Wolves win, or if Wolves are not in for a draw, then this card is going to be getting a plus one or a plus two and a five-star weak foot, guys. So really, really cool there. I think this card's fun. I think he offers a fair amount in game and he feels really, really quick. Sometimes his dribbling kind of glitches out because of that low balance. You can't get a sprint boost to work with him too well. But I really enjoyed using this card nonetheless. I think he's fun and I think he's good. And I have a lot of love for his ultimate positions and his nation as well. Makes him quite easy to link. To be honest, even though he's from Wolves, you know, Brazilian players are very easy to get on chemistry. And Mateus Cunha certainly is another one of them. I would maybe arguably say that you might want to go for a finisher on this card to boost up that balance, especially on old gen, where you can certainly feel that balance letting him down in terms of the sprint boost. But still a great card, in my opinion. I think I'm going to rate this card on new gen as an 8.5 out of 10. On old gen, I'm also going to go for an 8.5 out of 10. A really, really decent card on both versions of the game. And then guys, for the star of the show, Morgan Gibbs White. I was not expecting this, but he is absolutely brilliant, guys. Do not sleep on this card. Because he's got that okay defending and physical, he makes playing that camera really fun because he actually does tend to help out quite a lot defensively. And if you do need that kind of support option, he's really good for that role. His passing was brilliant. His shooting was insane. And, you know, he's got kind of a bigger body type. He came a bit bulkier, but had no issues with his dribbling at all. Um, I thought this card was a really, really surprisingly good. I really, really hope he gets a plus two. 
and that five star weak foot on him and the ability to kind of play in the centre mid role if you want to or the cam role or as a wide player makes him quite versatile and makes him in my opinion a must complete even if he doesn't get the plus two I found him absolutely brilliant in game I really really wasn't expecting it but guys this is a fun card man that plays way above his stats honestly go and complete him play him in the cam role can play him right mid, left mid, CDM, centre mid. Any way you really want to, this card can perform for you. I also think he'd make a pretty good right back or left back as well. And that makes this card really valuable in my opinion. I'm a big, big fan of this card. I'm going to rate him on new gen, a 9.5 out of 10. And on old gen, I'm going to go for a 9 out of 10. He was a little bit better on new gen for me. Although I think on old gen, he scored that absolutely ridiculous power shot. Nonetheless, so guys, a brilliant card. And I would certainly complete Morgan Gibbs White over Mateus Cunha. But maybe Wolves are more likely to win the game, even though Forrest do need to pick up a few dubs. I think these are both good cards. I would say Gibbs White is the better of the two, but Mateus Cunha is no joke either, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to see the power of you. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.